Self-Love is the New Sexy, the podcast devoted to helping you overcome life's most painful and stubborn challenges so you can feel great, have more energy, and live stress-free every day. To reach your full potential, simply work with the powerful spiritual principles that are readily accessible to everyone. It's easier than you think. And on today's show, W. Mark Watts is going to show you how starting with self-love is the key to joyously and harmoniously making that happen. Hey, everybody, this is W. Mark Watts. Thanks for hanging out with me. and Welcome to the next episode of Self-Love is the New Sexy. And today's podcast is entitled, If You Want More Joy, Stop Doing This. If you want more joy in your life, stop doing this. And there's several reasons why you need to stop doing this thing. What am I talking about? I'm going to take away all of the suspicion or the suspense I should say right now and let you know what I'm talking about is comparing yourself to others so if you want more joy in your life stop comparing yourself to others now I know no one does this right none of you listening to this episode compares yourself to anybody that you know or don't know right Well, I'm probably the only one. I'm raising my hand. I know I'm guilty. However, I did decide I wanted more joy in my life. So I had to figure out how to make that happen. And I realized that one thing that made me sad or take that was able to steal some of my joy was when I was comparing myself to other people. As a matter of fact, I would compare myself to the guys that I would say I'm closest to in this world, my best friends in this world, I will compare myself to them, you know, regardless of what it was, whether it was sports, uh, uh, education, you know, after we graduated, you know, what were they doing? Were they married? Were they having kids? Where were they living? Blah, 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 blah. And always trying to see where I stacked up with them. And it wasn't in a mean way, but it was just like, Hey, they're doing these things. They have these abilities. Do you have those abilities? Where where do you stack up? Where do you rank in terms of those abilities? And I really had to take a step back because I'm like, you know, what difference does that really make? You know, and not that I harped on it, but I did realize that I became aware that subconsciously I was doing those things. So I had to take a look at that. And I started to realize that you know, this guy is smarter than me in physics or this guy is, has a better memory than I do or this guy might be stronger than me. And I was I start ask myself, how important is that to you, really? And the answer came back. Not very. It wasn't very important. I just subconsciously wanted to be like at least in the neighborhood of where they were in those particular areas. I don't know why. I think it's part of our competitive or part of my competitive nature. I played sports my whole life, so I'm always competing. And so you take that into every aspect of your life. However, once I realized that, man, this is distracting me from really focusing on better things or more things that I really want to do in my life. And so you just kind of you have to learn to put those types of things out of your mind. Now, not only did I compare myself, of course, to people in my close circle, but I would compare myself to people you see on TV and people that you admire and you would want to be able to do some of the things and have some of the things that they have. And then you have to realize that, well, are you doing the things that they did to get what they have or to be where they are. And most likely, if you're honest with yourself, you're going to realize that, no, you're not. And I was honest with myself and I said, no, I'm not doing those things. However, in my life, in what I can control now, am I doing those things that make me happy, that bring me joy? 
And then again, that starts with finding out what brings you joy and comparing myself to other people does not bring me joy. So I had to put an end to that. Again, it was just distracting. So cut it out. Number two, comparing yourself to others leads down the road of judgment and resentment because if you're constantly comparing yourself to other people i'm assuming and i know i did i'm comparing myself to people who i think are better than me in this particular area has more than me in this particular area smarter than me in this particular area stronger again you know whatever the case might be and then when you realize that that person or those those groups of people are somewhat higher or better than you in those particular categories. Now you start to want to nitpick. You start to want to look for other areas where maybe they aren't as good or you start to not want to celebrate the way that their greatness, you know, the fact that they are good and strong in those those areas. You know, for example, I have a, a really good friend who is and if any any of my buddies ever listen to this podcast they'll know exactly who i'm talking about but uh he has unlimited energy like he gets up early in the morning and all day long he's moving now when he's sleep he's sleep but when he's up i mean he's just a ball of energy and you know what i do is i learn to look at that and admire it like i'm like anytime that i think about the fact that I might be tired or maybe I don't want to do my podcast today because whatever, or I got another project I have to work on and I really would rather be doing this. Anytime I think I don't have the energy, I think about him. Matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and say his name. His name is Lewis. And again, one of my great buddies for a long time, long, long time. And he just has unlimited energy. And so anytime that I think I'm tired, I just think about him. And I can see him moving. I can see him constantly working, you know, whether it's doing yard work, fixing the car, visiting people, you know, whatever, cooking dinner, whatever it might be, cleaning up the house, whatever it is. Whenever I feel like, man, I'm tired, I'll just think about Lewis. And I know Lewis is busy doing something. And then I think, man, there's no way I'm I can't be tired, you know. And so then it gives me motivation to go ahead and do what I need to do. So that's the way to use it in a positive light. But so don't let the fact that other people are different than you cause you to be judgmental, not only of them, but of yourself, because then you you also will have the propensity to start to downgrade yourself and say, well, you suck at this or you're not that good at that. And then you start to lower your own self-esteem without even knowing it. And it's not necessary and it doesn't really matter. It's not that important. However, when you make things more negative, then it becomes really important because that takes you out of a place where you're happy. It takes your joy away. And we absolutely positively can't have that in in this day and age. You know, we're, we're we become and we're becoming so much aware of those things that prohibit us from being who we want to be. So we have to understand that. We cannot continue to compare ourselves to anybody else in this world, which leads me to the last point of when you compare yourself to anybody else in this world, I don't care who it is. You totally negate the fact that you are number one, wonderful. You're beautiful. You are already perfect and you are an expression of unto yourself that is joyful and magnificent in this world. And when you are comparing yourself to someone else, you're totally not even fully expressing. You're not spending the time you need to spend being who you more of who you are and expressing more of who you are and sharing more of who you are, loving more of who you are. So all of those things that you should be spending your time on, you don't spend your time doing those positive, wonderful and beautiful things because you're looking and comparing yourself to something else that never even needs to be 
compared. You are an original. You are so amazing. And we have to always understand and believe in that wholeheartedly and focus on every single gift that we have and every single beautiful thing that we have, every way that we can love ourselves and others. We can compliment ourselves and others. We can contribute to the world in fantastic ways. There are so many other things, other aspects of this life that we need to be focused on instead of comparing ourselves to anything. So that might be the biggest one is that I just think when we take our eyes off of all of the beauty and the perfection and the awesomeness of who we are, that gives us the ability that gives us the time to compare ourselves to other things that absolutely have nothing to do with us. Our focus needs to be on being the very best that we can be, loving ourselves fully all out, sharing all of the joy of who we are with the world and everybody else who's willing to connect with you. That's what we're supposed to be focused on, not comparing ourselves to anybody else. So I am going to end on that note. If you want more joy in your life, stop, stop, stop comparing yourself to anybody else in this universe, past, present or future, and spend that time expressing the full joy of who you are. All right. It's been wonderful spending time with you all again today. Look forward to speaking with you all again very soon. Bye now. You've been listening to Self Love is the New Sexy with W. Mark Watts. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Also, make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our show on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you listen to podcasts.